So let's see if we can get the two-handed pistol pose working. For that, I already duplicated our tool and we will introduce this one here and we will open it. It's basically derived or not derived, it's copied from the torch pose and here we will also use the M9. Mm, here we will set 2H, two, uh, two, two sorry, <laughs> German guy, 2H pistol pose, pistol pose, oh, where is it, UE5. Here, that's the one we want to use. And we compile, save, and we want to use the right hand to constrain the bonds or to derive the bond locations. And yeah, let's see if we can improve the location a little bit further. And move it to the right by 150 basically in the middle of both of them we also need to edit the pose name 2h pistol pose normally it's poses but yeah you can change it i did not notice it when i was working on stuff here so how can we get it working basically quite easily hopefully <laughs> this time not so many issues and we can click on the held object and maybe let's use a pose which is easier for us to place our pistol around so let's see three four ah this one is fine four five this one is fine five so here we can yeah get our pistol in the correct spot go into full screen mode move it up move it forward forward a little bit back yeah it's quite close already as you see we are getting faster now now we have the tools the base to yeah iterate on stuff and yeah let's move it here a little bit maybe you have a better approach please share if you can do it quicker than me I would love to see how you are using these tools and get it working for your custom characters and hopefully have not many issues anymore. For me, it looks fine. My, I mean, this spot here, it's still oversecting, but there the hand poses are a little bit different from the new many compared to the UE5, a uh, UE4 many, but for me, it's fine to show you the concept and how you can use our tools now. So let's get the relative held object lo ro location and rotation. So that's this one here. I will share this one in the links below as well, uh, in the description below as well from this video. And we want to apply this as well. So let's see what happens to our locations if we still use the reframe. So for me, it is looking fine. Hope for you guys as well. So it looks quite good to me. You could still, I did not say this yet, you could still uh, improve the locations a little bit if you add up those values in the array, which I will also show, no, show, <laughs> share in the description below so that you can still reuse it if you have some issues. And what we can do now is click on edit, modify item sequence. So we added a sequence so we can still play the game now. And hopefully see that everything is working as expected. And yeah, it does. So let's go into full screen. So it's still working fine for me. The only thing which I don't know yet is why this left hand is moving <laughs> with the secondary motion. There we need to fix it and probably work on the IK system a little bit to get it to get it better working. But it might be fine for you. It might be fine for me as well. Maybe you also see those intersecting intersecting sums. This one needs to be done or needs to be improved in Maya. 
which we will not cover in this series, but you still see how you can rework those bone locations. And if you are far away, you might not notice it. So here you will not see those intersection sums. And I think for a pro for prototyping, this mannequin is still fine, but for a real game, you might not want to use it. So yeah, long story short, we fix the two hand pistol pause and we will continue with more topics when it comes to overlay states and hopefully get them working, you know, get all of them working. See you on the next session.